In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a red barn in a field. So, if you want to check it out, keep on watching. everybody's doing really well. I hope you're having a great summer. I've had a really busy one here working with Kids Camp, but I enjoy taking the time, setting it aside to create a tutorial for you. Today's tutorial was by request by one of my viewers. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun creating this red barn with you. So let me get set up and get started. I am starting with my stretched canvas. It, I'm gonna uh, work on creating my background before I start designing my barn. So I'm going to start using my flat brush. I'm using a three quarter inch flat brush. I'm gonna get it wet. And I'm going to start with some background colors. I'm gonna lay out my sky color. So I'm going to pull some paint going to get some white and some purple and a little touch of red. I'm going to kind of try to figure out where my horizon line is going to be. So I'm going to just kind of put it right here. Not quite halfway down. Now I'm going to get some more purple and I'm going to just use back and forth strokes and lay out this purple. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of bright blue and blend that right in on the canvas using back and forth strokes. Now I'm gonna pick up white. And as I add the white, I'm going to bring up some more of that bottom color up into the mix. Now I just grabbed a little bit more water on my brush. It's important to keep the water paint mixture even so you get a nice glide across your canvas. Pick up some more white. And some more white. Get a little more water on my brush. And I'm gonna just go over this and blend it out. I'm going to rinse my brush off and at this point I'm going to come in and lay out my barn. So to do that I'm going to just pick up my round brush. Any size round brush will work that's kind of smaller. I'm just going to be using this to draw with. So I get it wet and I'm going to roll it in a little bit of this red, maybe with a touch of black. Add a 
little touch of water to it. And now I'm going to start going into the design mode. Let's see. So I, I'm going to put my barn, I think it, it wants to kind of live over here it's going to start. And I'm going to angle this part down. This is going to be the side of the barn. And then I'm going to bring a line a little bit higher than where that stops, across like this. And down. And I think this side wants to have a little bit of a, a lower section right here. And I'm not worrying about all the fine detail I'm just laying out, and that way I can change things if I'm not happy with something. Maybe I'll have a little little window up here and maybe I'll have a door here maybe there'll be another door here and maybe there'll be a couple little windows on the side Notice I'm keeping the angle at the top of the windows and the bottom of the windows at the same angle that that is. And I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom part of this being all even because I'm going to have some grasses that come up in the front. Now once I um, get the rest of this done, I'll start working on what's going on in the background. So this barn's going to need a roof. I think I'm going to put a line here, a matching line across here, and then a little line like this and like that. Kind of like a little happy face this way and a little happy face this way. And now I need to put the side of the roof on over here. So this line is going to need to match the angle of this. So I can just hold this here and bring that up. But I don't want it to come out quite as far as this one. So put that there, and then I'm going to bring this angle down like that. So now I've got my basic outline. I probably need a little bit upper roof showing right here so we'll just pick up a little bit more paint right there so now I'm going to come in and start putting some of the darker colors some black in the barn so I'm going to use my blending brush for this the filbert's brush I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to pick up some black. Get it wet again. Add a little bit more water. I'm just going to come in here and lay out the dark areas of the barn. be a shadow underneath this overhang so I'm going to put a little bit of black there 
little bit black under here. And a section of black here. And in these windows, And I'll add some dark shadow underneath that too. And right under here. And in this window. Now maybe I'll have a few little spots of wear and tear on the barn. Some black is showing through. So I can just come in and put a few sections here. Now I'm gonna have some trees in the background, so I'm gonna let that black dry before I come back in and do any more to the barn. I'm gonna lay out some, some uh, trees back here. So I'm gonna pick up some black with a little bit of brown. Maybe it'll be a big old tree right here. I'm just using my blending brush to do this. And I will do some branches off of that. in this so that there's some nice contrast. And maybe there'll be a tree way back there that just has a few branches that you can see. So now before I put the tree leaves and stuff like that, I'm going to be putting some ground color just across the bottom, just to give me a base to work from. So I'm going to pick up some green and black. I'm just using a grass green. I think I'm gonna have it kind of be some darker colors here. So now I'm just looking to put in some dark areas to start with. Back in here. And notice I'm just using little strokes with black and grass green and I'll come over and do the same thing on this side 
And what I'm doing is I'm laying down some under colors that I will be using for my contrast when I'm creating some other things that are going to be happening. Now I think I'm going to get my big flat brush because I just want to lay out this layer of color down here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of red and a little bit of brown. I'm just going to come in pop in some areas with this. I'm just popping in with some up and down strokes. pick up some brown and yellow and pop some of that in back here Maybe I'll put some of this brown and yellow over here and it'll pick up some of these other colors. That's fine. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown and white. Pop in some brown and white through this section. I think I'll get some more of that grass green and white. And put a little bit over here. Now add a little bit more brown and white in some spots. And I'll fill the rest of this in with some brown and white. Now at this point, I can move back up here and get my color in from my barn. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of red with some black. I'm gonna come on this side and I'm just using my flat brush.
come back to that and put another layer of that on. I'm gonna get some more red paint here on my palette. I'm gonna get a little bit of red with a little bit of orange and a little bit of black. I'm gonna come down the side of this roof here, just downward strokes like so. And I'm still not gonna worry about too fine of detail yet. red to that now. And let's pop some of this brighter red right up in here. Bring that down here. And we're going to have some grasses that come up high to meet right across this level. So that's, that's pretty much all we're going to do to lay that out for the moment. Now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to start putting in some more of the colors in the background for the trees. So I'm just going to grab my blending brush and I'm going to pick up some fall colors. I'm thinking orange and yellow, maybe with a little touch of brown in it. I'm just going to come in here and just start dabbing. We'll put some of these colors back in here. So I'm picking up yellow, orange, and brown. And I think I'm gonna have that come up to be a little bit more sparse up here. I'll just have a few leaves happening. I'm going to pick up a little bit more orange, yellow, and a touch of white in this. I'm going to come back here and just start putting in 
some dabs here. I don't even need to have branches or trunks or anything. I'm just giving the illusion that this tree is back there. Or trees. And now I'm gonna get some of this grass green and black. Maybe we'll add a little touch of orange to it and start pulling this down. And maybe there's a little brighter green and yellow or orange and yellow popping out from behind the barn here. And then we'll go back to our green and black. I picked up a little white in there. That's okay. I'll rinse that off. And I'll pop over here and I'll lay out this tree. So I'm going to get I think this tree wants to be orange and brown. So we'll just come in and do the same thing. Pop in. When I'm doing this, I can do it in little cluster sections. So like I can have a little cluster here of leaves. Maybe there'll be another little cluster here. Orange, brown. Orange and brown. Now the lighter that I touch, the smaller that I can make these little leaves. And the harder that I push, I can make them appear to be bigger. Just using little tiny dabs.
I don't know if you could hear it, but you probably can. My air conditioner keeps going on and off. Um, I do have central air, but the unit is right above my head. So it kind of can be kind of loud. This wants to have some that come down a little bit more here. And I'll rinse my brush off. Now, before I start putting in anything here, I do want to get some more work done on the barn, and that is dry now. So I am going to use my blending brush and just pick up a little bit more red now, and I want to just put a little more richness of red over top of this. So I'm going to add that. Oops, got a little blue on there. here too and just along the top edge do a little section that's a little redder maybe even in just some sections in here not the whole thing door a little bit deeper with the black. So we're going to let this dry again. Uh, let's see. take a look at what we wanted what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have this barn be a little bit weathered uh, so I'm gonna let this dry really well I'm gonna take a few minutes uh, I'll be back with you in a second uh, when everything is good and dry and we will move forward see you in a second okay I think I'm gonna come back in here and put a little bit more stuff happening with our trees. I'm gonna get some little darker tones mixed in here. So I'm gonna get some black with some brown. I just wanna come in here and throw in a little more darks.
that'll be good. And what I want to do with this barn is I want to do some dry brushing technique to kind of weather the um, the wood a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure I wipe off my flat brush so it's nice and dry. You can just get another brush and I like kind of going like this to kind of help make sure I get as much of that water off as I can. So now I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of white and I'm not gonna add any water to this at all. And actually I can tell that it is a little bit too wet. So let me grab another flat brush that's dry. So I'm just gonna use this flat brush and now I'll pick up some white no water at all. I definitely don't want water on here. And I just want to come in here and brush on some of this white. Turn my brush sideways. Just come in like this. I'm going to put any of that over there. Um, get a little bit more over here. And I'm going to come on this door. I'm going to go right over this black. up my round brush now because I want to come around this window. I'm just going to roll a little bit of white on here. I'm going to roll it in the black now and come up and put a little bit more trim across the top here and have a little bit more attention to some detail now right here. detail to what's happening with this roof line.
think this barn's been sitting here a while. So I'm going to pick up a little touch of green, um, the lighter apple tart green. Just kind of throw a little bit of that on here. Get a little bit more white and we'll put a little bit of trim around these windows as well. Just little vague hints here. And we'll just, I rinsed my brush off a little bit and I'm just putting a little bit of thin black streaks right in there on that door, just to give it that little worn look. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna start coming in and putting in what's gonna happen in front of here. So to do that, I'm just gonna start with, oh, let me get my other flat brush. I'm gonna start with this flat brush and I'm just gonna start laying in some colors. So I'm going to start with a little touch of brown with some green. Just start laying in with downward strokes. And I'm just touching it to the color. And maybe we'll start picking up a little bit of yellow and add some yellow into there. I want to get a nice base one here to cover up all that white. I don't want to see any of that white. Maybe as I move over, I add a little white to it. So, so now I'm green, brown, green, yellow, and white. So I'm just checking out, make sure I've got all my canvas white from the back covered up. Now I can 
start looking at how I want the rest of this grass to kind of form. Maybe I'll have little areas where it's going to have little more pops of um, a golden yellow. So I'll get some, I'll use my blending brush now and I'll get some yellow and orange and make like a golden color. Maybe I'll have little pops of uh, wildflowers growing here. Maybe I'll pick up a little green and red. I have some little tops of some kind of growth here. this golden color. Put some of these flowers over here. Maybe some of these are in, mixed in with this too. Maybe I'll get some green and yellow. I'm gonna start putting in little sections, some green and yellow growth. Okay, so I finished doing some of uh, the rest of the grass here, um, adding in some detail, and you can add in some detail with a little line brush. Um, you can roll it in whatever kind of colors you want and just do little touches. I'm coming back up into here now and adding some little touches to fine fine tune everything up here. I checked my shadows. I'm just gonna get these little pops of red to help give it some nice contrast. And I might come over this again. I put in a little line here, checking all these little fine details. Now is the time that you wanna do those.
let's check the angle of this. Now, if I wanted to put, um, some little tiny white flowers anywhere. I could just take my round brush and do some little taps and create that. There's all kinds of fun that you can have with this kind of painting. It looks like a little old red barn, worn and weathered. Come back in here with a little bit more orange leaves right here. to this orange. Just come down into this lower section here. Just kind of put a little bit of color back in there. Just a touch. Take a little touch of that and add to this here. Okay. Well, you can have fun and you can always do more, like I always say. So here's the weathered old red barn. Thanks a lot for joining me. I hope that you have fun if you try to create this. And if you do, I'd love to see a picture of it. Post it in the comments section or email it to me at paintjubilee at gmail.com. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, don't forget like and subscribe and hit that old bell button that way you get notified when i post a new video so until i see you again happy painting <laughs>